Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. The channel contains hundreds of different videos catering from beginners right through to the more advanced tires and covering flies and patterns from all around the world. If you like what you see, stick around until the end of the video where generally you'll find the pattern description and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get on with the show. Hi guys, so we are going to tie... Well, is it a wet fly, is it a dry fly? Hard to say. Um, it's a red arsed silver daddy. Uh, you could tie this is a B175 size 10. Uh, you could also tie it on a B170 in similar size. The 170 same shape of a hook but lighter wire and therefore you could tend towards a dry version with that. So um, the thread I'm going to use here is this sort of rusty brown. Iron thread. This is a Danville 70 Dernier, it's a 60. Um, so hopefully it holds together for me. So we're going to do a butt on this fly, and what we're going to use is uh, their glow bright number four or five for it. So the uh, four is probably the slightly darker. Red. Try to glow. The four is the is the brighter glow bright stuff. The three is the darker red. So, taking a strand of this here, what I'm going to do is put it behind my thread. Take the two ends together, that'll allow me to slide it along my tying thread and then just tie it in at the rear there. So wrap this on to create a butt. And I guess personal preference as to how big a butt you want. Once you've got your desired size of butt, tie it off, and then tie it a length of silver wire. I'm just going to tie that straight in on the top because we're not putting any ribs or anything, or not ribs, uh, palmers or anything like that on, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then the body on this one, a plain silver tinsel. So here we have a uni miler. Uh, this is a 364th. So must be made for the American market. So what I'm going to do is this is gold one side, silver the other. So I am going to tie that on with the gold side pointing out towards me silver side down. And the reason for that is that when I start to wrap it then silver side will be up. And I am going to just put on a little bit of clear varnish. Start to wrap with slightly overlapping wraps is my plan here. As I'm wrapping into that varnish, it just helps to, when that dries, it'll help to strengthen the body construct for me. Get to the front, I'll just fold it back and put a couple of turns over it. Trim that off. And then take my silver wire. And rip the body. Tie that off the front. Change it so that it's 90 degree degrees coming along the length of the shank. A couple of turns over it. Hold my thread under tension and then back and forward 
until that snaps off. See if you're cutting it with your scissors and reckon you're good scissors. So next things, the legs. Daddy's long legs have legs, they have knotted legs when we tie them, so we're going to use a knotted pheasant tail. So four, five, six. We'll do six legs on this. I'll split the bunch in two. Three out each side, and when I'm happy with that, again, it depends how long you want to make it. Put three out each side, and then hold them to the sides of the fly, and just bind that down. Turn those off, and then wings. So for wings, I'm going to use uh, just a red game cape. I want two hackle points from that. Pull out two. Measure them up. Again, probably want them a little bit longer than the body. And then I'll just separate the fibers back. And then we can choose to put them back to back or curving out, depends what you want. I'm going to set them so that they're like this. I'll set that up on top so that the shiny sides of my feathers are to each other. Set that up on top. Bit of a pinch loop on it. Not that off. And then we're going to put a hackle on the front. So this fly calls for uh, a Foxford hackle on the front. So what is a Foxford hackle? A Foxford is uh, a Foxford shrimp is an Irish shrimp fly. It's one of the most famous of all shrimp flies, and it has an unusual sort of gingery hackle at the front, uh, which is extremely difficult to. Uh, find or even to dye so but to me it's sort of a gingery fiery brown kind of a, a hackle and here it calls for a henny cock so i suppose if that it means it's intended as a sort of a as a wet fly so i have a hackle that i have dyed in ginger and in fiery brown so it's maybe slightly darker than intended but um said the an actual true Foxford hackle is extremely difficult to come by. So I'm going to wrap that on. Each wrap I'll just pinch down. The front I'll fold that stock back and I can either break it off or I can cut it off. But that is our fly done. We just need to finish it. So as per usual I don't use a whip finishing tool. I just put on several half hitch sets. Trim that off. And then varnish it with clear. Varnish. is our red arsed silver daddy tight. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. 
please take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button down below uh, tell your friends about the channel and if you want to watch some more of my content then check out some of the uh, links that are appearing in your screens at the minute as per usual i hope you enjoyed the video so until next time tight lines and thanks for watching